<sighs> what it, what it, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stacy, and I'm back with another one. Hey, old man, to my left, we got the homie the good. Miami Chad, baby. Yeah, yeah. So today we react to a video called Interview Before and After Our First Date with Taja and Dustin. This video is from Glamour. Um, this that I, I, I'm the first time I ever watched something from this YouTube channel. So we can go ahead and get into this right here. But listen, you probably know the Glamour, the Glamour channel. Probably seen this series before, but you may not know the fuck I may be. And my name is Stacy People. Please make sure you subscribe right now if you to the channel. Like this video, what comments well, and make sure you ring the bell to join the game. And also, his link will be in the description to his channel. And we can go ahead and get into this video, man. Before and after our first date. This is going to be interesting. Interview before and after. So let's get to it. Only thing that threw me off, that Dustin. That Dustin? I got a... Oh, yeah. That, that's your middle name. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take these captions off. 24 hey. years old. My name is Dustin, and I am 26 years old. I'm a video editor. I am an accounts manager. Can't tell you what company, but just know it's top secret. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Go LeBron. Originally, I'm from Queens, New York. Two years. Damn, LeBron been gone. The fuck? Mm -hmm. No, three. About three and a half Two. years now. I can't lie, it's pretty rough. Approximately zero people. Phone so dry, I went swimming last week. So I'm not technically dating anyone right now, but everyone texts people just to flirt a little bit here and there. I'm um, really picky. I have to make sure everything about her is 100. If she's anything less than that, then she has to go. I am very particular in what I like, and I think I probably need to be a little less picky going forward. His name is Dustin. Oh. Justin. Sounds like, <laughs> like he'd be Matthew McConaughey in a movie. <laughs> Look, I knew she could know you think he was white. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I got a problem with the name. name. is Tasia. Tasia. I like that. Tasia and Dustin. Dustin and Tasia. Deja. Ooh. I'm like super nice, down to earth, and I think funny and Awkward. I feel like a lot of times my awkwardness is like kind of cute. One is my voice. A lot of females think it's smooth. Two, I'm a big listener. And three, I have a big heart. I love tall men. I love to wear heels. So anyone that I can like feel small with, I think is just so attractive. And then if you have some muscles here and there, it doesn't hurt. I love thick women. I have big arms, so I need I need to fill these big arms, you know? Do you like big arms? Oh, I think big arms are so attractive. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. Pick me up, cradle me, let's cuddle. Maybe crack some jokes here and there, and just like to have fun. I'm inquisitive. I like to tell jokes, I love laughing. Like, if you don't have a sense of humor, then there's no way we're gonna be together. Tonight, I am going to wear some cute little heels I just got some jeans, and this cutie blazer right here. I think we're gonna go with this denim outfit I have on. You can't go wrong with denim. And I know she gonna love the Sherlin. See that? You are gonna love it. I know she like furry things. I don't know anything, what? which is another thing that's making me anxious. And I know females can't say no to food. So I picked two different restaurants. One restaurant, Fogo de Chao, just in case, you know, she likes the meats. <laughs> and I like the, name of it. the other one is Blend on the Water where they have a nice view, and she's probably into some scenery. Probably bump some Lizzo, some Destiny's Child, maybe. I listen to 90s R&B. That was the best time for love. I'm hoping what to find someone like mm -hmm. who I can take to the next level, spend the rest of my life with. It may be a little far-fetched, but I want to take it one step at a time. I wouldn't mind finding a husband tonight, but we will see. That'd be crazy. Fingers crossed. My mom says I look like Gabrielle Union. Some people call me Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> I don't think I look like him. Some people call me Michael B. Jordan. Again, I don't think I look like him, but I like the compliment. I've gotten Gabby Douglas too. Oh, most definitely. Michael B. Jordan is number one. Rihanna, Seven Streeter, and Normani. Safe to say I have a thing for she singers. Like somebody, but not I am a Aries Pisces cusp. Mm -hmm. Sagittarian stand-up. So I've only had two official girlfriends. Four people? But maybe like one was really serious. 
Aquarius. My longest relationship was two and a half, almost three years. It's a long time to be with the same person. Four years. My exes would say that I am you nice, ex took funny, <laughs> um, really down to earth, and not very emotional. I said I'm a good listener. I was always there for them. I'm very dependable. Not to my knowledge. I hope I haven't been cheated on. If I have, you should be ashamed of yourself. Can't lie, I have been cheated on and it sucks, okay? Which is why I don't cheat. I'm a big ghoster, unfortunately. <laughs> I just get bored. I'm sorry to anyone who, out there who I ever ghosted. Some of the girls in my past needed to be ghosted. They, they were just doing too much. No, go me. I've been ghosted before. I don't know why. And it was killing me inside for a while because I feel like I didn't deserve it. The best, best thing, thing that, that could happen, happen on this date, date is, is another, another date. date. The worst thing that could happen is that he totally doesn't like me, thinks I'm awkward, and is not attracted to me. It's her walking out, to be honest. I don't think I've ever embarrassed myself. I hope I never do. Fart while I was eating and talking at the same time. We went on another date. Fear of rejection. Well, how long do you take? To, how long did you take to fart with your with you your, your life? When's your first time? How long did it take for you to fart? First time. Yeah, I don't, I'm pretty like I probably it wasn't no time. I don't I can't remember the first fart. Yeah, that's been too damn long ago. But it ain't even that. I'm not that type of person where it's like oh, it probably was like hey, brr, oh, damn. <laughs> I I try to hold my farts. Oh no, I ain't a fart so, now. Somebody died from that. I, oh, I, farts. I think so. I think it was a thing. Like, the, the motherfucker just dying from holding well, farts. Well, time is ticking on me. <laughs> you still ain't? <laughs> yeah, I still ain't fart around my girl. I, I don't fart around my girls, bro. I don't fart. <laughs> you learn something every day. <laughs> you were on a date with him. I think I would just laugh. It's a normal bodily function. We all do it. I think secretly she probably does the same thing at home. Sometimes, you know, bite See, the lip or like look up from beneath the eyelashes, maybe give him a little hand touch, rub your hand on his arm. If I want to be sexy, I'll take my shirt off and then I'll lower the tone of my voice and then now we here. If a guy took a shirt off on a date, I think I would maybe like it. The sexiest thing my date could do is be smart. That's sexy. To kiss me or just be intelligent. Let's talk about climate change or politics or tell me about a good book you just read. It, it would definitely, definitely be the smile. smile. And then like, I love abs. So like a washboard abs, I think is so sexy. Oh, I drink. Yes, I do. I do not drink. Mm. Are you okay with a date who doesn't drink? I'm okay with a date who doesn't drink. It's not for everyone. Does he not drink? Is that a, can I ask? Are you okay with a date? I'm totally fine if she drinks, you know, as long as she's not like, I'm here to get drunk out my mind. Yeah. I don't discriminate. The reason I don't drink is honestly pretty simple. I just don't like it. I've tried it. It's just not my thing. Beach. Beach. Probably time. Time. Morning person. All night. Let's go, Kylie. Kylie. Ooh. Both? Leather. <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> Who still has an Android? <laughs> they should like... Just get rid of them. Mother <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the green bubble bandit. <laughs> I like my the green I like bubble my, bandit. I like my Samsung. Okay, <laughs> y'all hey, not gonna do this to us. Wish me luck. Him. I think he's gonna be probably like too light. A tight to her, maybe. She, I think she kind of loose. She's, she, I think she got loose. When we first met, we did a little handshake, and like he held my hand for like 30 seconds, and I was like, oh, this is a long handshake. And he was like, well, I just like the feel of your hand. And I was like, okay. Starting off on a good foot here. At first, I was a little blown away. I kind of like tripped over my words a bit. She's like, hey, I'm Tej. I was like, hi, I'm Dustin. And then I shook her hand for a really long time. She's, She's like, like little mama a little bit. Yeah, with the ponytail, I see it. Mm -hmm. You get really long handshakes, I'm like, yeah. I thought he was cute, seemed really nice. 
I can't lie, I was a little shocked. And she walked in the room and like her presence, like her energy was just like there. And I'm like, who's this boss ass chick walking in all gorgeous? I was like, okay, okay. I like this. And he just had a very calming aura around him. Her eyes, beautiful eyes. And I love a woman with nice teeth, so tens all across the board. I, I was physically, physically attracted, attracted to my date. date. Jamie Foxx, maybe? I could see that. Even personality, too. She's like a combination of like Gabrielle Union and Kiki Palmer, so what? Kiki Union, you know? Let's go with that. So we went to this restaurant on the water in Long Island City. She ended up picking Plan B, which was Blend on the Water, which had a nice ambiance, a nice view, nice scenery. We got to walk and see the city. Beautiful. The subway, you know, it's New York City. Why not take the subway? Mind you, I had heels on, but he was super nice, a gentleman. He always walked on like the street side and like made sure I was on the inside. We talked about I had an argument you with my girl about that. that. I kept trying, look, I said, I'm supposed to walk on the outside. She yes. said, no, you're on the inside. I'm like, no. who the hell you done been with? Oh. Then we was walking and, and she wanted me to walk in front of her when we was like doing something. I'm like, I can, you're, you're out of my sight. I need to see where you are the whole time to protect you. Like. Yeah, no, I, no, don't she, know. I don't she, know who she'd have been she, with. She's bro. been with some um, Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> they put their woman in the side. You go on the dangerous side. <laughs> and you walk behind. Me. That's crazy. Family on the way there. We talked about college. I know who she looked like. It's someone that's not famous, though. Somebody with the family, you with me. I know who she looked like. And she's never been to Long Island City, so it was perfect. She just was experiencing new things as we're talking, as we're walking. Before we got there, he actually like held my hand and we walked across the street, super cute. Get to the restaurant, I'm not gonna lie. I set the reservation for the wrong restaurant. <laughs> it was at a different location. <laughs> we get to our table, we sit down. Um, I order a glass of wine, found out that he didn't drink, which is totally okay. She's looking around, I'm looking at her, it's like looking at like a, a kid at like Disney World or something and she was like s such an awe and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm doing my thing right now. Okay, okay, this is going really well. We order our food, she loved the food. We had great conversation. In the middle of like us waiting for our food, her mom calls and she like declines the call. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, that's my mom. I'm like, pick up. She's like, I don't want to be rude. I'm like, okay, I respect that, but I also respect your mom. I think you should pick up. And I called my mom back and I was like, hey mom, like, I'm on a date, I'll call you back when I get home. And she was like, ooh, with a hot man? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's, he's pretty nice, mom, he's cool. I could have called her when I got home, but I just felt like he was pressuring me to call my mom back. We both had chicken. Boyo a la plancha. Chicken. And she had the crispy chicken. Pretty easy going. Wonderful, sensational, amazing. I think we had a little chemistry. The chemistry was at an all-time high. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of things we agreed on and had in common had me a little scared. We talked a lot about family. He's, like, very into his family careers and, like, what his dreams and goals are within his career. And we talked a lot about, like, just finding yourself and being okay with who you are as a person. Family, especially since our mom called. We talked about siblings, our upbringing college, what really transformed ourselves into being who we are today. We learned that we are very similar individuals, but at the same time, we're very different. And we just have very similar ideals about like futures and things like that. I got the feeling a few times actually that he thought that I was a little bougie because of where I live and that like I have a car in New York and my apartment building has a parking garage. I don't think Tay's just bougie. I, this, I think she likes what she I'm not. I, I just looked on Facebook to see if this is the girl I went, actually went to college with. I don't know. She looked like her. Likes. But the girl is Haitian, has, though. She's Haitian. So. She possibly could be Haitian. Yeah, so I don't know. I forgot to see her last name. High standards. People consider it bougie, but I understand her. She doesn't want to settle for less. Never settle. I do feel like he talked a little bit too much. I feel really bad saying that. There was at one point he was like, if I'm talking too much, let me know. It was like more I, of- a I don't talk a lot. When I talk, I, I have conversations. I, so my, you're a good listener. I'm a, I could talk when I'm in a relationship, but in the beginning, 
I'm gathering information. And I know how to make a woman just talk her ass off. Mm. Talk her ass off. Mm. So I don't talk too much. Feel me? Uh, him talking 75% of the time and then I'm the other 25%. Is that the correct math? I think it was like 50-50. I plead the fifth. What? I don't think that was the case. I'm going to stick with 50-50, and that's what I'm staying with. All right. If she thought it was 75-25, she wrong. Brown. Like, brown? Like, she had in some context. They, they were in, like, real, her real eyes, but <laughs> they were, like, brown-green, like, green. Queens. Uh, Ohio. He's right after the Scorpio because his birthday is November 23rd. So that's not her. She's from Ohio. That Maybe girl she lied. Like, Maybe she lied. <laughs> Maybe she lied. Whatever that um, <laughs> is after Scorpio. Libra? Her birthday is March 21st. That's all I remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm not into, you know, days. zodiac signs like that. Oh. She has five. And they're like mostly on her left side because it's closer to her heart where I'm trying to be. Mm. So I guess I'll be the sixth. He doesn't have any tattoos. He works at <laughs> and he like answers phones and like does something else and he's gone up a few levels within the company. She's a video editor. So he has two brothers and I think three sisters, so five siblings. Two. He's allergic to peanut butter and um, seafood. Bullshit. Dustin paid for the date after I asked if we wanted to split it 50-50. I paid for the date. I was pretty comfortable Didn't drinking, pay. even though. First date. First date? I always got to pay first date. Good job. I always got to pay job. first date. Good job. Hey, no. we've been raised right, man. We got y'all on the right side of the road. We paying for the date. Mm -hmm. And when we drop you off, we make sure you go inside the house first. A, 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 hey, you rude people who out there driving off before the person get to the door. It's standard. It's standard. Wait. 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 He doesn't drink. I was fine with her drinking. I don't I don't judge. I don't discriminate. That's her thing, you know? We went outside to see um, Long Island City, so where it's located. Across the water, you can see Manhattan. When we were exchanging numbers, she asked if I had an Android. Totally disrespectful. Don't know why she asked me that. Yeah, thank you. He do talk too much. Everything they said negative Joking about him around, is true. I thought he had an Android. <laughs> And I guess my reaction to him saying that was the best. And he over went now. on this whole elaborate thing running around me and was like, oh my gosh, how rude. Like, how could you think I have an Android? Like, all this stuff. It was funny. We took a selfie, um, enjoyed the views by the water. She's a bad texter, she said. But then she saved my number. She said she usually doesn't do that. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting mixed signals at the moment. So I drove her home. Made sure she got inside safe. And I went to go get out of the car and he was like, oh, I'm gonna come out. And I was like, okay, cool. So I get out of the car, he comes around the car and he gives me a hug. And I never know like when someone's gonna go in for a kiss. I'm like, should I do it? Should he do it? First no kiss happened. So I don't know if he was just being a gentleman and maybe I didn't leave the room right. What was going on? There was no kiss. No kissing on the first date. Exactly. She said she liked the date, I liked the date. Totally different from anyone I've ever um, dealt with in my life, and she said the same thing as, as well. So, I think date number two coming soon. We drove her home, but because we're there, it could have been one of two places. So, how, <laughs> how did your car end up at, at that restaurant? A wise man never lets out his secrets. I knew she would want to pick the scenery, so I parked nearby. I was thinking three steps ahead. I wouldn't have minded a kiss. I wish there will be a kiss on the second date if we make it that far. You know, if she texts me back. Keyword is if. I did find my date intelligent, which I found attractive. I found Tasia really intelligent. Four and a half hours long? I would say two hours. He doesn't eat past four o'clock. Yeah, I don't eat past four p.m. I don't. Well, I definitely made an exception for this date because I ate at like eight o'clock in the morning and <laughs> I needed something to eat. You know, we had to go to dinner, you know, and I had to share a moment with someone else. So thank you, Dustin, for breaking your rule. I got the vibe that he still lives at home. That's tough. That's tough. Well, when you 
yeah. when you dating, dating, dating to like stick to like your, your diet regimen and shit like that. Cause your woman gonna want to go different places and shit like that. Shit's tough. It's tough in marriage. Yeah. It, 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 look, you gotta eat what they eat. Guys too. Well, now you're gonna be spending double like a motherfucker and going triple places. Yeah. Yes, he's, he still lives at home. I think the only thing I did that I was slightly- What happened? Share a moment with someone else. So thank you, Dustin, for breaking your rule. I got the vibe that he still lives at home. Yes, he's, he still lives at home. I think the only thing I did that I was slightly embarrassed about was almost sliding on the way to the bathroom with those wonderful, shiny, slippery floors. I didn't feel embarrassed at all on our date. Why, wow, she was embarrassed? She just happens to trip a couple times. I mean, as long as she's tripping for me, I don't mind. I think I probably laughed more because he was talking. <laughs> it was 75, 25. She laughed more, probably because I was talking more, <laughs> according to her. I, I was, was most attracted to, to his mind. mind, and he has a nice smile, nice arms too. I was least attracted to the fact that he still lives at home. <laughs> his mom cooks dinner for him. I was attracted to it all. I don't know her response was different. Was it? I do live at home with my parents. My mom doesn't cook for me. She cooks for herself and I just happen to eat it because <laughs> I don't have time to cook or learn. And then his mom like has dinner waiting for him when he gets home from work. There were no red flags. The potential this is, is pretty good. I'm ready to put up my white one and surrender. Can't lie. I sent her a text when I got home, said, hey, I'm home now. Tonight was really fun. Had a good time. She texted me back hours later saying, hey, I had fun too, glad you made it home safe. Even though I was already at work when she texted me that. Next text is coming in three business days. We texted last night. I actually fell asleep before responding back. And so I responded back this morning, but glad that he made it home safely and that I had a good time as well. I am glad that I went on this date. I had fun. And it's been so long that I went on a date that I forgot how fun dates can be. Hell yeah. I just want to leave it as how you. Why zoom in? Like, five. Zoom. Part five. Of five. I would say four. 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 Or three. Three and a half. Oh, wow. I feel bad. Four and a half. Five. five. Four. Despite our three and a half compatibility. <laughs> Maybe we need to learn more about each other. Seven. I go on a second date. I see myself going on the second, third, fourth, the fifth, and the, on the fifth. Let's see, Dustin, when you see this video, um, I had a great time on our date. I think you're a very nice person, very ambitious, and I really think that is an attractive quality to have. Um, I had a good time. You're a gentleman. Maybe we can try for a second date. Tasia, you're beautiful. You're amazing. I really want a second date. I hope we make it there. Please text me back. Please text me back. No, for real. Please text me back. By the time this video comes out, I've probably texted you three times in the past month. Can you please text me back, Tasia, so we can go on a second, third, fourth date? Don't block your blessings by not texting back. Check your phone. You said you're getting an iPhone 11. By this time, you should have it. What's the point of getting a new phone if you're not going to text back? Oh, he just texted me. <laughs> How was your interview? I just got here. I think she it was difficult to plan a second date with, with with one another due to conflicting schedules. I stopped texting Tasia due to prolonged response time. The second date was September 22nd. He said he was busy. He was going to be busy most of the weekends in October. Another thing, when you, when you focus on trying to get somewhere, it's tough to date as well. True. Like right now, my girl is saying that she missed me, although I'm hard working. She understands it, but it's still, still tough. You. Still, still tough. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. We could have picked, we did something, LOL, but I wish him the best. Damn. So she didn't ghost him. It was his fault. He but didn't. no, 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 hold on now. This, this could be, like, they just, what was the, the last text before September 22nd? She could have. Already what? done made a man mad and then yeah. popped up. I don't know what the, that's your second date. She a bad texter. She a bad texter. It probably was for for uh, annoying. 
her T said for prolonged responses. So she So he, then you call. Probably felt like well, he already felt like she wasn't interested doing doing this shit. Like she she had I uh, went wanna text me back and all that stuff like that. So he probably was like, I don't know, maybe he has an issue with self confidence. Yeah. I see that. I see that. Mm-hmm. I see that. That's probably why he don't drink. Yeah. He don't want to be embarrassed. Uh, yeah. You know, he probably done does some dumb stuff drinking. Yeah, 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 you know. I mean, we don't know his life from just, but just saying that if he was just fo- just calm and be like, all right, whatever. She texts, at, I respond to her when I respond to her. And why y'all texting so much? Pick up the phone and call. I hate planning yeah, stuff through text messages. I hate planning th- stuff. Through t- it's so annoying to me. You know, when I, when, I, when I want to talk about you about something we need to do, I'm going to call you. Yeah. Yeah. If, only time I'll text you if I'm actually doing something I can't call but or on the way I text when I yeah. I'm on the way yeah you know what I'm saying or something small if I'm trying to set something up for sure for sure I'm gonna call you so we can discuss this right then and there a, 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 a two day long conversation back and forth slowly back and forth could be taken care of in one minute trying to figure something out and, something out and, the, and the worst thing about it is is like it's so many nuances that's lost through text messaging like yeah, you get a little bit back with emojis yeah. or whatever, but you don't really know yeah. what that other person is saying, how they saying it, mm-hmm. or what's going on. Yeah, tone is very important. I, yeah. I definitely don't argue through text messages. I don't. I try my best not to. The relationship I'm in now, we don't argue through text messages a lot. That's a we barely thing. text to become completely That's a honest. Good we thing. don't talk. We don't text because we talk so much. Yeah, me and my wife, we um, we're talkers. We're talkers. I think. When we when we even first got together, it was always, "What's up?" We'll talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yeah that's how it should. You gotta know how to communicate with your partner, even when the conversations are rough and tough. You still gotta know how to have them and know know the know the cue. That's the only way you can learn how to build through conflict. It's verbally talking. I think the this generation that's coming up, they can have a real issue when it comes to that shit. They're, they listen. They is screwing them up as far as um. Just contact with each other in general, or whatever, mm-hmm. through coronavirus and um, yeah. texting and um, all yeah. these virtual ways of connecting. Yeah, damn, yeah. shit gonna be hard. You gotta figure out some type of way to forge these, these, these. What, what I would say, experiences and interactions. They gotta figure some type of way, cause man, ain't nobody gonna have no real personal skills. Even when you see people out having fun, at, even when you see people at a club or whatever like that, most the interactions are. Film, 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 then text, 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 text. And they phone the whole time, looking at the footage. Looking at the footage. Film, 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 pictures, pictures, back in their phone. Scrolling, True. scrolling, scrolling. Their whole life is involved True. with them, the damn cell phone. Yeah. Or, or what they doing online. Post. So, rather that, that, than that's that post first yeah. thing instead of instead of adding to whatever situation going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my homeboy out there might be dancing or something, instead of me saying, Oh man, let me get out there too. Yeah. Is Man, this thing gonna be <laughs> hell. Yeah, let me post this. Let me get this footage for my for my story, or whatever like that. Rather than people actually enjoying themselves, that is the craziest thing for me. For me, I have to be reminded. I mean, when I was trying to do rap and shit like that, crazy. I had to be reminded of certain things to take a picture here with this outfit, record this moment, record drinking it. Like you had, a, it's like so fake. And I don't get how people like only. I, 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 I used to have to remind myself. Damn, I should have filmed this time when I was having fun to show people that I have fun. But it's it, that's so can't. stupid. But it's me. I don't have. I, hey man, I ain't got, it's, I've had fun. I ain't got time. My phone is always dead now. Everybody yelling at, always yelling at me always about a dead, dead phone. But always. I'm living life, man. I'm out here. I enjoy it to the to the point and to the T. And sometimes you just can't get me. You gotta get me live, man. Because <laughs> we come from a time like we was landlines. You ain't see yeah. nobody till you see it. I mean, I ain't that old, but I know where it was. Like, when you, have, you talk to somebody at school, you couldn't speak to, to them again till you got home. And to then, speak yeah. To them. And you'd be in a room all day by the damn phone, by the, by the line speaking. Or you had a cordless phone just the whole yeah, time. But when you out, when you leave the house, you used to be miserable. Hey, them late night talks in a Haitian family, in a Haitian household. Look here. Silent as hell. No, no it ain't even that. Boy, my grandma would pick up the phone oh, at yeah. about four or five in the morning. I'm on the phone. Yeah. Hello. Sha. <laughs> you have to go to sleep. You have a school. Hey, hey, my son is a good boy. Okay. <laughs> you, you, my son is a good boy. <laughs> Bro, and the whole time you in the back pleading your kid, oh, get off phone. Hey, man, you just, you know, uh, 
<laughs> it's the worst. But it was conflict <laughs> management because the next day I had to go talk to her and smooth it over. Yeah, man. Need, need them interaction, man. That was crazy. I forgot that you could do that. My I forgot about that whole yeah. little aspect. Y'all yeah. don't... If, for people that don't understand, <laughs> uh, when you have one phone line in a household... It will be multiple phones that can that 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 are connected to that line. So if I have a, a phone in my room and there's another phone in the living room, while I'm talking on the phone, the person in the living room could hop on it and, and, and join in on the conversation, or listen in on the conversation. So what happened? When his grandmother is able to go and pick up the phone and hop in on like, hey, well our grandmother, hey, like, hey, what's going on in here? It's and that shit happens all the time, bro. You know what it is to be on the phone with a chick. Six and four in the morning. You know what it is? What it what what it what what it was. <laughs> Cause look here, man. Now they, they cell phones is, is is destroying. You had to stay on that phone until from eight because it couldn't ring throughout the night. Yeah. So you had to get there. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. a grind. Dog. Yeah. It was a grind. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> had to, oh man. Right. Oh man. I, I, I was so happy when I finally got internet in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so I can have my own phone line. That was my only way to get my own phone line. My mom was mad at me tying up the line with my with dial up internet. <laughs> oh. So I got my own internet in my room so I could tie up my own line. That shit was like a whole new thing. So from that point, I was able to like, you know, I was able to do my little sneaky shit. But my boy, when my phone went dead, because oh, I ain't put my shit on the, the cordless charger, Damn. I had to go grab my mama's phone. <laughs> do I had to do? <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Over. These were so different. Right. Oh man, no, we went off on a crazy tangent. Yeah, <laughs> got got to do. <laughs> All about <laughs> communication. <laughs> hey man, you still here, Rocco? Just listening to talk and reminisce and shit. I appreciate you, dog. <laughs> hey, you can go ahead and sign up. Listen, go ahead and hit the, the link in the description. Just, the, go on to Miami Chaz channel. It's it like put it in just how it sounds, just how it's spelled. M I A M I C H A D. Go ahead and um see what's going on, man. We got some stuff. I have got to go grab my niece that's, that was banging on the door and go ahead and coddle her cuz she looking for me. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. You boy Stacy and I fuck with you while cuz you fuck with me. Hey. <laughs> <I> got him. <'em. laughs>